TikTok started to stress me out. I, really? I tried to take it serious at one point, oh, and that's okay. when I was really grinding and I was really trying to get the hundred thousand. And I was just like stressing myself out. I yeah. got half of my. I'm gonna tell you what. Half the videos on my page aren't even my best work because the funniest ones got taken down. Really and that's used to stress me out. Stressed really? Me out so so much. TikTok took them down? Oh yeah, they just really? took them down. I'd get shadow banned. I couldn't post for weeks at a time. Like it just. Wow, I heard about that. Yeah. But now I've met. Uh, oh my, I didn't know that. that That's was what it's. Thing. And then I just, I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna do this app strictly for fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome to me, Casa. Make yourself at home. Do your do. Welcome to my pad. This your lab. Go create your move. What's good, everybody? It's 99 miles per hour podcast with me, your host, Percy Garner, and I got family in the building today. But before we get to our guests. I want to, uh, you know, do housekeeping. And, uh, you know, I was talking about us having a new sponsorship. We finally got it finalized. Well, we didn't really sign anything, but we trust them. So we're going to talk about it. <laughs> but uh, we we uh, we did a deal with Subway. And uh, so you're going to be seeing me, even on uh, off this channel, on my other social media platforms, you know, eating some subs, you know, maybe some, uh, some other. So you got some new uh, menu items. Uh, they got protein bowl and they got some new stuff. This Cali fresh steak and Cali fresh turkey sandwich. So I'm going to be trying that out probably this week sometime. So, uh, but yeah, so we're happy to have them as a sponsor to support the podcast to keep it going. We do give thanks to uh, Peterman plumbing and uh, what they did for us. And then now uh, we're excited for our new partnership. So uh, everybody, we appreciate you tuning in make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. I did it. no, also, <laughs> we got uh, links in the description for you to check out. Um, we got my my merch store. That's what it was. I wore my shirt and didn't mention it last time. So that one episode you saw me with the shirt, that's one of the shirts you can get on the merch website. It's store.percygarner.com. And, uh, and uh, we also got, if you're ever interested in making a podcast, we got all these camera gear, all this stuff. It's all in the link in the description. Links to Amazon. If you buy stuff using that link, it'll help us out. We appreciate it. And we're a long way from a thousand subscribers, so let's get there. You know, we need about six hundred ninety-one more. So, <laughs> my math, you know, I'm up here. Anyways, let's get to the guest. So, the person I have uh, with us today, I'm excited to have on. Um, you know, because they're they're a, they're a younger person. What I've what I've had on the show lately, and his family, and I, you know, I've grown up uh, with his, you know, his father being a, a mentor for me and always beat me up. Um, <laughs> but, uh, to see him grow up and, and to do what he's doing now, also to see him play, um, you know, basketball, cause basketball was my favorite sport. I just wasn't that good. Um, but to see him go play college ball was good. It was a good sight to see, but now we got new things to talk about. So we thought we'd have him on the show and, uh, you know, he's, he was nice enough to come on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Jackson Todd. Oh How yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. How we doing? I'm great. I'm <laughs> fantastic right now. That's I've been waiting up. for this moment I don't my believe whole life. You. I don't I believe I swear. <laughs> saw Coach Mills on here, saw Joe. I was like, I'm just waiting for my turn. Just waiting for mine. Oh yeah, I forgot Joe Ball was on here. Oh I yeah. Forgot. Yeah. Joe, man, he is big now. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's a big dude, but glad to see him doing well too, playing hoops. They're all hooping and I'm just, you know, I just You're not I, too old to get back out there? Ah. Uh, I don't know. That's not what the doctor said. That's not what the doctor said. And my wife's like, you better not be going to play basketball. Yeah. So, you know, I'm just going to set picks anyway, you know. But, hey, that's uh, all you need to do. <laughs> but, uh, but, man, I appreciate you having you on the show. And, Thank you uh, for having me. Yeah. I mean, I've been, you know, my social media consultant was like, hey, you need to get on TikTok. So, you know, I started making TikTok videos, but it's just clips of this podcast. <laughs> you know, I'm not doing creative stuff like you. But, be, but before we get into that, let's kind of just catch up you know, where you're at, you know, I know you just graduated college and, yep. uh, you know, just, you know, what you got going on in, in the next <laughs> chapter? <laughs> well, uh, like you said, I just graduated. Um, got a lot of people ask me if I'm going to grad school <laughs> and I gladly tell them no. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what was your degree in? Psychology. So oh. the minimum, you, the minimum you need is a master's to do anything related oh, in that field. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, I mean, not trying to add more debt. Uh, <laughs> smart smart but I like uh it. no man I, I started taking acting classes um wow yep out in out in cincy when i go and visit like my girlfriend and my friends out there 
I'll, uh, I'll take classes. I move out there in October and Dang. starting that, starting that adult chapter. Kind of that's the, what's the up. Transition. <laughs> that's what's up. Uh oh, he's yeah. adult, he's adulting. Uh, tra- <laughs> hey, uh, transitioning. <laughs> transitioning, okay. transitioning to adult. He, got you. Got you. Um, that's what's up, man. Yeah. You know, and we're gonna probably dive more into what's going on in Cincinnati, but um, I also want to just, you know, obviously, you you played sports growing up. You grew in a your yep. all your family everyone plays sports Olivia did she play sports yeah she ran track oh, okay of yep. course of course she had to do something <laughs> yeah. she wasn't allowed she was not allowed to slack <laughs> okay. she was she was the family the spoiled child but yeah. she was she had to do something well she looks better than you and Cameron so whoa <laughs> <laughs> so I mean obviously she had to be spoiled <laughs> but, Jeez. well yeah her and Olivia or her and Cameron are, are twins though right yep okay yep yeah well Let's talk about Cameron quickly. I know he's not on the show, but not yet. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> um, but I mean, his career kind of blossomed. You know, I went and watched him in the freezing cold at Fawcett a couple yeah. years. When was that? COVID is messed up. Was that 2019? What, his senior year? Yeah. Yeah, 2019. Uh, 20, the state yeah. championship? Yep. Yep, nice. 2019. That's just, I mean, just to go, we had what? Olympic swimmer on. You know, we have a state champion swimmer at Dover. And then, you know, just to. It's not that it's not that easy to get to a state championship game. Yeah. And I know you've had experiences. I mean, you played you went to Ontario, right? Yep. And you played basketball there and you guys were pretty good as well, right? Yeah, yeah. We yeah. always had good regular seasons. Yeah. Never good tournament runs. But. Same with me. Same <laughs> with me. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Good but, regular seasons though. But to see to ha- to see that like, you know, people in your family succeeding. Oh yeah. And uh I mean it it's gotta great. yeah, it's gotta be good. And um I know one thing with your with your dad, you know, I know he had a career as well. He's a big sports guy, yeah. big Browns fan. You know, as we had to take down all this Browns memorabilia <laughs> from that from the Dogs podcast. Uh, yeah, but uh, but and maybe we'll have him on here because he's a character. Oh now. yeah, he, he would. Oh, he would. He would <laughs> die to be on here. I already know it. <laughs> Do you think you? Because I mean, from your TikTok, like you're funny. So I didn't know. You know, obviously when we hung out, you were a lot younger than oh, me yeah. and you know, I didn't really get to see that side of you. Yeah. I just, I knew you were athletic, but I didn't know you had that, you know, that <laughs> side. So I have the perfect balance of, uh, I have my, my little bit of dad's comedic skills and I have my, my mom and me. I know, uh, how, to okay. control, I know how to control myself. <laughs> yeah. Your dad, your dad <laughs> don't have that. He doesn't have that barometer, but, um, but like you, so you got the perfect balance Yeah, because your, your dad is hilarious. But, oh yeah. But Denise, like. She just, I, I didn't, you know, she's just such she's a loving She's my dad's mother. therapist. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's that what, that's what everyone says. They're like, how do you do that? She's always just like, he doesn't have an audience when he's at home. He just <laughs> relaxes. <laughs> yeah, my, my wife, she's heard all, every joke I've ever made. So she doesn't really, you know, think I'm doesn't funny. Doesn't even her. But when I do get her to laugh, I'm like, ooh, okay. <laughs> you know, I got to like build on that. I'm like, all right, this is the subject. This is, we're going to pocket that for later. But, <laughs> but, uh. But for me, obviously, like I said, basketball is my favorite sport, but I wasn't that great. How was that getting to play, you know, college basketball? Like, I know it wasn't at like a Big Ten or ACC yeah. school, but for me, being in the recruiting process for football and baseball, I know how hard it is in, in basketball because, really you hard. know, football, there's 85 scholarships. Yep. And basketball, there's what fifteen dudes on the team. And baseball, yep. there's thirty five. So you still got a little bit more with baseball, but yeah. basketball, it's rough to go D two, D three. It's like anywhere, NAIA, whatever yeah. it is, JUCO, even sometimes. But yeah, it's. I mean, but it it was it was fun. It was a it was a really great experience. I mean, shout out Coach Mills, really, because yeah. he's the one who gave me that chance. I I didn't really have much recruiting other than him. And yeah. I transferred there after my first year. I went oh to, yeah, where'd you go? I first went to Notre Dame College first. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. just, I just wanted to go up north area and try to play somewhere, and I tried yeah. to walk on at a D two, and that didn't work out. So, gotcha. Yeah, and, yeah. And we had uh, the coach of Notre Dame College. Well, he, he wasn't then, obviously, but yeah. um, Kevin Billy, he had been yeah, there. Yeah, yep. So, uh, but yeah, that's a good program. We had Eric Dermuth who went there, who was on Sports Center dunking <laughs> on somebody. So. Yeah, but I mean, and obviously you joined Micah in Wilmington. I yeah. went to a couple games, and you know, yeah. it's it's still tough competition. I don't oh, care yeah. where you play. So, um, it was tough. But you know, and always every time I go to the games, I'm like, man, if I would have just, <laughs> nah, it was never gonna happen. It was never gonna happen. <laughs> just I'm too, you know, slow on the feet. I got bricks on the on the feet. So uh, you know, you, basketball, you know, <laughs> nowadays all you gotta do is be able to shoot. You don't gotta be able to move. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> you true. can shoot. You're fine. Yeah, that's a true statement. That's true. I, sh- I you know, maybe I should look at that. <laughs> 
I can't even run up and down the uh, the court right now. I that, got, that might be the problem. Yeah. <laughs> that might be the main problem. Yeah. yeah. We got 60-year-olds at the Y that, you know, look like they're in better shape than me. But I'm about to work <laughs> on it. I'm about to be on the bike this winter. Good. Getting ready. Because oh, basketball yeah. is something I told, you know, golf and basketball is like, I'm going to be doing that forever so I can do it with my son and stuff like that. Oh, so. yeah. Golf, that's that's a that's a longevity sport right there. You, you golf at all? Yeah. Oh, you do? Oh, yeah. Oh, Not wow. good, but I golf. <laughs> <laughs> Not good, but I, I enjoy golf. Does, I enjoy it, yeah. Does your dad golf? He drinks. <laughs> <laughs> and drives the golf cart. I was going to say, I noticed that about golf, though. Everybody, yeah, they, they have a good time. Yeah, he, play, he plays with us sometimes. We played, uh, I think last month we ended up playing... Really? Rained a little bit, but I mean, it was fun. That's what's up. I would yeah. love to see him swing. Oh golf man, <laughs> it's 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 a sight to see. It was it was entertaining. Oh, oh man, I gotta. See we it. definitely. I I wanted to keep score, but by the second hole, I threw the scorecard away. So <laughs> <laughs> didn't last very long. I wish you could paint a picture. Maybe we'll put a picture of of uh, what your dad looks like <laughs> on the screen. Make sure uh, you put the Mister Brown picture. Yeah, that's like oh, he's, that's what I was gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you read my mind, but. Uh, but no, I mean, obviously, we, you know, basketball, man, it's uh, something that I grew up watching. I was just like, oh, I want to be an NBA player. But, yeah, you know, but now, you know, we get on the TikTok. You got over 120,000 <laughs> followers. You got all these 2 million likes. I don't even know what those numbers mean. I mean, I don't know what followers mean, yeah. but um, I know I don't have that. So, <laughs> so, so it's something you're doing something right. I mean, what kind of made you, you know, want to do that? Yeah, I mean, it was, I mean, college student other than basketball class. I mean, I mean, not this thing at Wilmington because it's it's a nice small campus, but there yeah. wasn't really a whole lot to do yeah. other than class and basketball. So, I mean, I've just always had a uh, a passion kind of for just making stupid, funny videos. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I remember doing it before TikTok was a thing. Okay. And my, with my a couple of my teammates. Was you on Vine? No, I'm sure. I I did have Vine. I remember I missed Vine. <laughs> I really miss Vaughn because that was fun, but yeah. I mean, that shut down, but yeah. yeah, we, we, I made some stupid videos and then my friend showed me TikTok and I was, I was completely against it. I was like, that's stupid. I was like, that looks like a dumb app. Yeah. It's like, but it's, it's perfect for you. You make stupid videos <laughs> and they're funny. He's like, and you just post them straight on the app. I'm like, well, all right. So I just started doing got. it and wow. yeah. And you do everything on your phone. Yep. Wow. I mean, you get pretty creative. I I know me. I just, you know, post this. But, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, for me, it's hard for me. I feel like situationally, I'm I'm funny in in a in a setting. That's how I am too. A lot. Oh, yeah, okay. Lot but I just times, feel like yeah. I couldn't just create comedy. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes it's like it's like those those funny situations those like kind of give me ideas like i'm just like uh, uh, it's, it's most sometimes the most spontaneous things can be just stupidly funny and that's uh -huh. how i am i like stupid humor <laughs> <laughs> well uh good for you because a lot of uh, people in america love it yeah so. yeah apparently one hundred twenty thousand people love it. yeah I, hey i wish it was getting me paid i i wish it was hey well you know maybe we need to talk about ways you can monetize it like Shifting your audience somewhere uh, where you can monetize it. I, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, okay, <laughs> okay. I know for me, I'm. I mean, the thing that I've gotten most like brand deals or any type of monetization has been Instagram, yeah. where brands reach out to me, and I don't even have. I mean, 2,500. I wish I would have took advantage when I was playing, yeah. but um, it's just a. It's a new thing where everyone, even coming up, you know, athletes, you see, yep. they like got their height, weight, and their stats on their twitter and that's how like recruiting is going on now yep. so i mean it's now it's the new resume so you know i encourage people i've seen some young people i think 13 year olds like walking around like trying to increase their followers yeah and, i mean as long as it's not something you're going to regret later yeah because you know how clock can be a drug yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> clock can really be a drug and i learned yes. that <laughs> you did oh it was tiktok started to stress me out i, really? I tried to take it serious at one point oh, and that's okay. when i was really grinding and I was really trying to get the hundred thousand and I was just like stressing myself out. I got yeah. half of my, I'm going to tell you what, half the videos on my page aren't even my best work because the funniest ones got taken down. Really? Stress me out. Stressed really? Me out so so much. TikTok took them down? Oh yeah. They just really? took them down. I'd get shadow banned. I couldn't post for weeks at a time. Like it just. Wow. I heard about that. Yeah. But now I've met. Uh, oh my, I didn't know that. that That's was what it's. Thing. And then I just, I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to do this app strictly for fun. Uh, I'm just gonna, just gonna do it whenever I feel like doing it. Yeah. I'm not gonna let it 
ruin my life. Because hundred k on there, it feels like a thousand. Really? Because they're not active followers. Oh, I got you. Because you know how many people have TikTok. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> seems like half the popu- the world's population has it. So yeah. people just get on there and click whatever. Yeah. But it's it's hard to keep that audience. I give I give creators credit. Yeah. What they, I know, like when you're just flicking, 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 yeah. flicking, flicking. It's like I don't know. I like to watch YouTube videos where it's they're like five to ten minutes long. Yeah. And I watch the ones that are like heavily produced. And a lot of work put into yeah, it. Yeah, sort of like I mean this in 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 Josh's credit, I don't put a lot of work into this because <laughs> uh, he does. But um I like making videos, but for me I've been going the opposite of where, you know, I feel like our culture is going. I'm going more towards the, you know, production style yeah. videos and everyone's like, No, just just make a short a minute span. yeah, thirty second video or yep. a ten second video on your phone that takes no, you know, equipment and stuff like that, which is yeah. it's a good thing. But I feel like I'm trending the other way. And I'm like, no, I want to make my nice Just keep it video. alive. That's all that matters. <laughs> just keep it alive. I'm going to try. We'll yeah. try. We'll try. But um, I, I just think it's something that, you know, I was totally against it. Like, oh, my gosh, they're collecting our data. I can't. <laughs> and then next thing you know, I'm like, oh, that was over. I should have been on it like oh, everyone a year ago. <laughs> so they know everybody's info, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was it worth me holding out? No. But, um, <laughs> I've seen a lot of people blow up on there with, you know, a following. And I'm just trying to use yeah. it to bring more people to my YouTube to just see the content I'm making here. And I always wanted to be a content creator. I was growing mm-hmm. up thinking. Not like growing up younger, but once I was like, you know, college and, and early pro ball, you know, I easily, yeah. I, I should have just been making vlogs of me in oh, minor yeah. league baseball. That would have been amazing. But oh, yeah. I, I'm not someone that likes to look in the past, but it just hurts my heart. <laughs> 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 but it's never too late. Josh made me do this and yeah. now I'm hey, making content. Doing this. That's and all we got matters. 60. We're coming up. This is 59. So we're getting close to 60 episodes. So, hey. You know, you having fun though, right? I am. That's the thing. Because early on, I was like, "Josh, send me the stats. What was this, what was this last week like? What was this last week?" First podcast. All right, <laughs> we get our ten thousand subscribers yet? And I don't think I don't think I've asked you in twenty twenty one to send me anything. <laughs> but you I know. Uh, did you put the right mailing address? I haven't gotten my YouTube check uh, <laughs> since we started this thing. I'm waiting. <laughs> what well, dogs podcast? They just got fully monetized. Really? Uh, yeah, they're at. Where are you at now? Are you at 2,500 yet or over 2,000 subscribers? Nice. So they're, you know, it's good to see, you know, and I always talk about them just because I'm looking at Baker Mayfield on the wall. Y'all can't see me. <laughs> but looking at this this dude, um, <laughs> I'm a Steelers fan, so. Poor guy. <laughs> he said poor guy. No, poor that's guy. what they've been saying about Browns people for the last 30 years. Yeah. But now, it's right, now, now it's the tables have turned. It's all right. Hey. <laughs> Tables have turned. Hey, we we don't have expectations. <laughs> we don't need them. I don't. You're not. Yeah. The bar is so. Low. I've 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 met I've met Cleveland fans, and yeah. they have expectations. Like you're not a real Cleveland fan. <laughs> you obviously haven't been a real Cleveland fan. If you were for the as long as you claim to be, you would not have expectations. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I don't hate Cleveland. You know. Yeah. I don't wish bad upon them. I yeah. do root for the Steelers when they play. But other than that, I'm like you know. And they got some cool players. I yeah, like yeah, yeah. OBJ Baker. I love he can Dougie and stuff. Yeah. I love you know white dude can dance. Of course I'm a like. <laughs> <laughs> of course I'm a like. I used to watch that video of him in Oklahoma oh, all the time, <laughs> all the time. Oh jeez. But um, so let's you know moving to Cincy. These mm-hmm. plans, you know, making. I'm assuming it's to you're taking acting classes. You want to you know make some content, or you're going to be get like where where's that going to be headed? Um, I mean, I wish I could. Sadly, this is the part I have of my dad. My mind's everywhere. <laughs> His mind's everywhere. My mind's everywhere. Literally, I, I want to, man, if I, I just want to entertain, man. Gotcha. That's literally all I want to do. I, I don't think anything's wrong with that. Yeah. If I, if I, I write, I write jokes. Really? I write movies. Wow. I, I do. I take acting classes. If I could be the, if I could be the best stand up comic actor, YouTube creator, Dang. Anything. If I could be the first person to do all that, that'd be amazing. That's what. I, that's literally all I. If I could have a dream, I'd describe it as that. Wow. <laughs> Just an entertainer. I like it. Yeah. I like it. That's what's up. I mean, I think somewhat you 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 have to have that type of vision and and not yeah. You you may feel like your mind's everywhere. Obviously, eventually, because I still I, I'm still struggle with that and i'm like all right well i want to do this yeah and then someone's like hey you just made a nice looking video you should do this yeah i'm like oh that would be cool you know and i could probably make money doing that and support the family and i'm just like you know you gotta 
you know, and she's like, what, what do you want to do? Make videos, write? You want to make graphics, do all this? I'm like, let's just. Don't burn yourself yeah, out. Yeah, let's just yeah. do videos first. <laughs> that's, that's the problem I have. I just, I want to do it all right now. Yeah. But at the same time, like I said, transitioning into adulthood. Yeah. I got to, I'm looking for a decent job to sustain my living. Yeah. <laughs> You got to do that. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then the rest of that time is going to be, I'll, I'm going to be, I don't know that many people out there, but yeah. I'll be in my own space where I can work on what I want to work on. That's what's up. Yeah. Man, I'm, I'm just happy to see that. Man. That's what's yeah. up. I mean, I've already made it up my mind. I've and too many people ask me what I want to do with my life. I'm just, I've made it up. I'm like, I got to entertain. I can't clock in clock out every day. Yeah. I just can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> can't do it. Done it already. It's just not. No offense to people that do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, we need you. we need people who who put in the work and get things done for us. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. It's just that's I, not I what don't you're, think that's, that's what I was brought calling. on this earth for. No, gotcha, man. I'm, I mean, I, I'm looking forward to, to you know to more content. Now I'm excited, um, and just to hear your goals because you know obviously that's what one of my things I was about to go to next. Like, yeah. you know, obviously we talked about family and you know how athletic everybody was. Was yeah. your mom? Did she was she was she, athle- was she athletically she gifted? She did. <laughs> If I do recall correctly, she did cheer for a little bit, but I don't think she finished in high school. She always told me though that she wished if she she, she could have played a sport. She said she wished she could have played football. Really? Yeah. She, I remember her telling me that. I was like younger. She hasn't said it in a while, but she's really? like, I've always wanted to play football. I was just like, and just you know, all right. His, his yeah. mom, I was like, mom. I was like, you got to have that mentality. I guess that's where we get it from. <laughs> got to have the mentality. <laughs> just so you know, his mom is not. Big, like a linebacker. She's, she's a nice little woman <laughs> who just has uh, tenacity, I yeah. guess. But you got to. If, you, if yeah, you're putting yeah, up yeah. with Fred for however long they've been married, 30 yeah. plus years. I mean, she, and she, I mean, at our game, she was her and my dad. They, really? Like, they were both playing this. Like, they were just as into it as we were. Like, they, they. So it was good I didn't sit with him at Cameron's state championship game. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, oh, no. Yeah. They would have been looking at our section like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> but, man, I'm like, okay, so where, where, like, what are all the areas that we can follow you besides TikTok? Like, where you're making content where people can, you know, tune in and see you entertain? Uh, I mean... I get on, I mean, other than TikTok, really, which I'm going to start getting on more, I actually, I posted a video yesterday for the first time in really? a while. The one I saw That's was not that a hot dog one. That one was, yeah, I think that was one of them. I did two. I did two videos. Yep, yep. Now I was thinking of, yep. I, did I was two. just like, Whoa. I was just bored. I was just like, this is funny stuff. I'm just going to stitch this. But, uh. Uh, yeah, I don't allow people to stitch my video. Should I? Should I? Should yeah. I? Okay, okay. Yeah. I'll turn that you on. Just, it, just anything that yeah, makes people be able to share it or whatever. But, gotcha, gotcha. Um, uh, I get, uh, I do funny stuff on Instagram live. I usually post funny stuff in my stories. Oh, so you do, you do Instagram live as well? Just when I get like bored at night and all my, all my friends and stuff just want to check it on me. I'll just do some funny stuff. I'll go uh, on there. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, that's what's up. And we'll, up. we'll put all your social media yeah. d- in the description. Thank so you, you guys can click on it. Yep. For sure. For sure. Uh, I do. I haven't, I worked hard on my last YouTube video. Really? Yeah. Uh, and my NBA draft documentary because I declared oh. for the NBA draft. Oh. And they screwed me. <laughs> <laughs> Adam Silver just was not messing with me at all. Oh, man, I don't have to watch this, though. Oh, oh yeah. You ever see that? No. Nah, oh, I, think, I think I've heard about it, though. Oh, man. It was comical. So you put, lot, you put a lot of work Oh, yeah. Me and my, I did some of it when I was at school, then graduation stuff. And then I did a little bit at home. Really? And it's like 15-minute video. But it was, oh, okay. it's, it's straight parody. That's what's up. All right. Yeah. But uh, YouTube, I just broke 100 subscribers. Didn't even realize that. Really? I hadn't posted since then, and that was two months ago. And that allows you to do your uh, a custom um, domain like f- for your YouTube. And it's not just like YouTube.com forward slash yeah. J-A-3-6-9-X-Y. <laughs> you can actually do something, I think. Yeah. I forgot about that until you just said it. Yeah. <laughs> so you need to do that. So yeah. it's like easy. Here's my YouTube. Yeah. 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 Definitely. But I do. I do pretty much everything. I don't really That's get on Twitter, though. Don't like that. Twitter's different. Don't like it. It's not really, hey, you know, make content here. Too I many, mean, you can, but. Too many of the, not only is it the same stuff just talked about, it's too many people who are acting like what they actually aren't. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's just, I, I can see like TikTok and stuff, like people are just making funny videos. Instagram, you post pictures and stuff, but Twitter, too many. It's not, not your too thing. many, too many. Yeah, That's where I get my news. Much. That's where I get my news. There I follow ESPN and all that stuff. I found out the cam just got released. 
Yeah. <sighs> I did Hopefully see that. he comes to the Steelers. By the time this video goes live, he'll yeah, probably be signed by the Steelers. Mason Rudolph is <laughs> no. not going to cut it for you guys. <laughs> well, we got, you know, huh? I mean, I want. I, I'm still. This is still my grudge against Ohio State <laughs> coming in. Oh yeah, I heard about the grudge. I heard about I the want grudge. Ju- I want Justin Fields to do well though. My my homie uh, and Justin Fields are pretty close, and my homie's doing videography work yeah. for the NFL. And uh, you know, it's good. And Justin Fields just seems like a good dude. So, and he's not. You know, he transferred to Ohio State. It's not like he was. Yeah. You know, it's a little different. <laughs> <laughs> you know they didn't recruit him like they didn't recruit me so it's all good no i'm sure they recruited him he just decided to go to georgia but um but no that's awesome i mean moving forward I'm, i know i'm gonna be tuning in more and seeing what you're doing and you know you want to entertain you're taking acting classes you're making content on social media yep i mean hopefully like i said this before hopefully they don't come out with another social media platform that have to do work on <laughs> it's gonna i guarantee five years from now there's gonna be about four or five more popular ones there's oh, gonna be no. and it's gonna be any any random thing i don't even know what it's gonna be yeah because i don't use snapchat right now all i use is tiktok instagram twitter yeah i facebook because you know with my being the everything i guess at my organization you know um I have to be the marketer there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm learning. I, I, I stopped getting on Facebook after like sixth grade. Cause I was like, this is an old person's app. <laughs> and then now as I'm transitioning more and more people are like, Oh yeah. Do you have Facebook? I'm just like, you know what? I might as well get back on. Yeah. That, Cause I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> and now it's just people talking bad about LeBron every day. That's all it is. Literally. <laughs> all it is just a different post. How is this guy to go? Yeah. yeah basically. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's funny. I mean, there's just so many ways. There's so much. There's so many people trying to capture everyone's attention. It's yeah. just it's as it's as competitive as it's ever been. It's just going to get even more competitive. Yeah. And uh, hopefully, you know, you're entertaining enough, or this is inspirational enough to to make this it some, make it make it through somebody's uh you know on their screen. But um, so you're gonna be calling Cincinnati home, right? Pretty yeah. soon in October. Yeah. Okay. Now, I always ask this question. Well, I won't say always, but for the most part, I ask this question because it means a lot to me. Mm-hmm. Now, I know you didn't grow up in Cincinnati, but that's going to be your community. Is Are there going to be any ways that you, you know, maybe do, figure out a way to do free shows, uh, just figure out a way to give back to the community at all. So, you know, if you get your name around Cincinnati and you're doing acting classes and you're mm-hmm. writing jokes, you know, you can do, uh, you know, some free yeah, stuff. I mean, whatever and, opportunities come my way, I mean, I'm, I'll take it in a heartbeat. Just, yeah. Just to get more affiliated around there, I don't want to just be a bumping a log there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> doing my own thing, and I mean, which I mean, I will be working hard with myself, but yeah. I mean, I still want to. Yeah, and I'm just trying to out. think of creative ways, because uh, obviously you don't have to become a director of a health charity like I yeah. did. But <laughs> there's plenty of ways to give back, and always yeah, encourage yeah, yeah. young people to you know find their niche uh, or. Just something because when I was playing, I would just find a church locally or a hospital yeah, yeah, yeah. and I would go visit kids, you know, who were struggling. Obviously, at the time, they didn't know who I was and I was playing for the Clearwater Threshers. They were yeah. like, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> but to me, it gave me perspective. And then when I was obviously wearing the Cleveland Indians jersey, it was a different story. But, um, you know, just going to those places and yeah. the question I always get asked is, how much money you make? Yeah. I'm like, just know your know parents. Your name. Can I get your autograph, though? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm always like, just know your mom <laughs> makes more money than me. <laughs> That's all you got to know because in the minor leagues, it was it was a struggle bus. Yeah. And, you know, and I'm like, look, be real with these kids because, the, the, you know, the people that were yeah. leading the ministry, they're like, don't ask that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, no, they need to know how much of a grind this yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm glad I got to watch you play in the minors, too. Yeah. I mean, that was. I could have easily just never went and said, yeah, yeah. cousin play for the Indians. <laughs> a lot of people did that. <laughs> but, um no, it was it was it was good to do that, but you know, I'm I'm now I'm looking at the the next generation and seeing what y'all gonna do. And, yeah, you know, I'm still improving and doing. I got a lot to learn still too. So, and uh, you know, I figured out I just like I like this country song I've been playing. Um, apparently, she's a popular artist. I don't even know her name though. But the song is called "Slow Burn." Came on while I was in the speedway getting a, get, getting a Reese cup. <laughs> Who's that by? 
I want to say, ah, uh, look it up, Josh. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see if I can beat him. Let me see if I can beat him. Cause she'll be on my Spotify recently played, but yeah, Casey Musgraves. See, never heard of him. Yeah. She's like, uh, <laughs> it's a, it's a girl and she's got 8 million monthly listeners. So she's wow. doing something. <laughs> Nice. She's doing good. And that's not even counting like just the 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 you know streams that her songs get. There's yeah. eight million different people that are listening to her each month. Hey. <laughs> that's crazy. But yeah, while I was in Speedway, they had this song coming on. I was in there with my kids and I was like, dang. So I was like, Shazam. <laughs> 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 and then, you know, listen to that song, man. It was good. But you know, you'll learn some more stuff about yourself. Yeah. But uh my heart was beating real loud, real heavy. Loud, not loud. Being real heavy the other day because we was in Hurricane Elsa really? and in Hilton Head. Uh, and I was like, uh, I didn't think I was scared at the time, but my wife was like, you were scared. <laughs> <laughs> they were in the tub and I was like, ah. And then it just stormed the other night. Yeah. And it was like 4.30 in the morning. I was just like, I was like, bro, I'm a grown ass man. <laughs> Why am I it's, tripping? It's it, a I mean, little storm. <laughs> it's different though. It's not something you can control. It's I the know. World. Yeah, it's like, I was like, dang. <laughs> that type of stuff scared me more than like ghosts and stuff. Yeah, I know. I, I know. Younger. I was yeah. definitely scared of tornadoes. Yeah. For Nothing sure. you can t- control. Yeah. It's going to happen. Like, well, <laughs> don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but no, man, I, before we wrap it up, I, I haven't done this in a while, Josh. You know what it is? Oh, there it is. See, he's on point. Oh, jeez. See, I didn't even put him up there. I'm. Let me just. <laughs> they ain't even here. This is coming off the dome. Okay. Fast. What do we call him? I used to call him Fast Five or Fast Nine. It was Fast Nine. I don't know if they were six yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> so slow nine. <laughs> yeah, so, so take your time. You know, we need an extended response. No. Uh, so we gonna do fast questions. Fast. Fast Nine. Okay. Uh, fast Ninety Nine. Um. First question. First Hollywood crush. First Hollywood crush. Paige Heard. Paige Heard. I think I'm getting old. <laughs> I'll look that up. You ever seen Everybody Hits Chris? Yes. Remember uh, Tasha, his neighbor? Yeah. He liked her. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. We there, we there. All yeah. right, good. <laughs> Mine, I think, was... Uh, um, you don't. I wonder if he knows Lisa Ray. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Josh is like, what? She's black. <laughs> Josh. <No>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Paige heard. Uh, favorite movie. Favorite movie. Um, can it be a series? Sure. Saw series. Saw series. Okay. Mm-hmm. I thought. Okay. When you said series, I thought you meant like. You know. Snowfall or like a, a nah, TV nah. series. Okay. I nah. like it. I yep. like it. Saw series. The, has the new one came out with Chris Rock? Yep. I saw that. Was it good? Yeah, it was solid. Okay. Samuel's in it. Wow. Of course. He's yeah. in every movie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right. Let's do. Uh, if you had one superhero ability, what would it be? Tra- uh, teleportation. Like it. Yeah. I think that was a. I like how you still called him Coach Mills. I think that was Micah's answer too. Really? Um, Favorite athlete. Favorite athlete. Whew. Man. Well, <laughs> that's actually a tough one. <laughs> athlete. You know, I'll go with my sport. You might hate me for this. You Cavs fan. Draymond Green. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> no. <laughs> favorite, I can't give you a favorite athlete. That's too hard to think of every sport for yeah. me. But. Favorite basketball player is Draymond Green. Okay. I respect it. I mean, I respect Draymond's game. Best role player in the league. Can he not be the – can you say he's the best role player in the league? Yeah. All right, hold on. Role I want, player? Role, role player. <clears throat> I want to bring this to you, okay? So, me and Micah had this mm-hmm. argument, discussion, debate, whatever you want to say. Yeah. So, we were talking about the Warriors. Mm-hmm. And I don't know how we got here. But he said – I well, I, we'll start with what I said. I said, um, I understand like the team aspect in basketball. Mm-hmm. Everyone's important. Yeah. But Steph Curry is more valuable than Draymond Green. <clears throat> and Micah said, no, you need everyone on the team. No one's more valuable. And I was like, 
so you're saying they're equal? And he's like, yes. And I'm like, Steph Curry and Draymond Green are not equal. <laughs> Skill-wise, not even close. As far as what they bring, I'd say, I'd say, because I mean, if you, if you really look at it, they have talked, Steph and Clay have talked about how they would not be the team that they would be without Draymond Green. That's true. They would not be as, they're still the greatest shooters yeah. to touch a basketball, but, but probably would not have been the same outcome if they didn't have a player like Draymond Green. So I feel like you could argue that. I'm I got, not I got, I got an two answer. analogies. I got two analogies. I'm not going to give you an answer on that. <clears throat> One is a marriage. Yeah. Obviously, you need a man and a woman. Well, yep. times have <laughs> challenged, you, you challenged a, that. A but. human and a human. <laughs> <laughs> or actually, no, an an animate object <laughs> and any other living thing. <laughs> yes. So God's definition of marriage, you yeah. need a man and a woman. <laughs> yep. And let's just keep in mind that he created marriage. But anyways, a uh, man and a woman are now, are they equal? Obviously in the marriage construct, I guess I'm trying to get to a point where yes, a marriage, you need both a man and a woman and what yeah. they bring to the table, but are they equal? Well, if I recall correctly, in a marriage, <laughs> you're not putting a ball in a hoop. <laughs> All right, let me, get, let me do this one. Let me I, do, I, get, I, I mean, I let guess. me do this one. Let me do this one. If you're coming to a barbecue, yeah, and it's your responsibility to bring buns, and it's my responsibility to bring meat, mm -hmm. you forget the buns. It's fine that we can just eat the hamburger without the bun. St Steph Curry's the hamburger in this situation, and Draymond is the bun. <laughs> Is that a good analogy? <laughs> yeah, you still eat the yeah, I was gonna say you you could still uh, eat the meat. I've never seen anyone eat a hamburger bun by itself. But oh, bun! <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I didn't bring the buns. Oh, <laughs> he said I didn't bring the buns. Oh, I mean that's not a bad analogy. I feel like you could come up with a better one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll continue. I've heard, to I've heard some good, some some good arguments though. You can argue it. Though. All right, we'll we'll. Uh, to be continued on, yeah. on, the, on the Steph Curry. A year from now, whenever I'm back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. The show will still be going on and we'll yeah. be having repeat guests by then. Yeah. When you're Joe Rogan level, <laughs> I will. I'll be back. Episode 2039. <laughs> um, all right. Let's do another question. Yeah. Uh, dead or alive, who would you bring to a dinner? Or who would you have dinner with, dead or alive? Who would I have dinner with? So you can bring three people. Three people? Yep. That's, dang, these are some deep questions. <laughs> That's why they're not fast. Man, yeah. <laughs> this is a slow, slow nine. Uh, I know one for sure would definitely be Michael Jackson. Oh, okay. Um, The next one would be Marlon Wayans. Okay, I like it. And then uh, bring the dinner, dead or alive. Yes. Man, I got to go with an athlete now. <laughs> I got to go with an athlete. Freaking Wilt Chamberlain. Ooh. Why? Because of how great he was or how many women he slept I gotta with? No, know how many, <laughs> I got to know if that if if both 100 was real, that 100 points and that 100 women. And I <laughs> oh, shoot. Um, all right. You said Marlon Wayans that reminded me of a, a famous TikTok between the, the dad and his son. Remember what he said? He was they were uh they were quoting um uh Don't Be a Menace. Oh where, yeah. When Marlon's trying to do the outfits, he's yeah, yeah. shut up with Uzi. Yeah. <laughs> I wear this, wear this Uzi. <laughs> that was that was one of the most funniest TikToks I've seen. But they do well. Yeah. You know, you know who I'm talking about? It's uh, the dad and son. I can't think of their name either, but the dude, the dudes who who like uh, they lip sync the stuff all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I know yeah, you're yeah. talking. Okay, I don't know their name yeah. though, but yeah, gotcha. they're hilarious. Yeah. Best advice you've ever gotten. Best advice. I've gotten a lot of good advice. Yeah, but what's the best? <laughs> it's hard to pick. It's hard to pick just one. Um. I guess I I'd have to go with. I mean, I've heard this from coaches, my dad, any any family member I've talked to on on my dad's side, mom's side. Uh, just whatever I do, just make sure I go give my all for it. Just, gotcha. That's it. Just whatever I do, just give 100%, 110%. And I, and I know that you've heard that a lot. I've yeah. heard that a lot, but it's still hard to do. Yeah. So it, if that's not 
in the forefront of your mind. Yeah. You know. I've heard it in different ways. Just yeah. just because the, usually the, the motivational speech will always end with whatever you do, just just make sure you try your best. Just, yeah. do, just do everything you can. And that's what I want my son when I'm trying to tell him. I'm like, look, I might be hard on you. I know you're eight. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, he's eight? Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> I know you're eight and all, but come on, man. <laughs> but um, all right, we're not even going to do nine. This is going to be the last one. Okay. I feel like you'll think of another one after this one. <laughs> it's not even going to be a heavy hitter. Favorite car? Favorite car? Uh, I've always liked Audis, but as the gas prices keep rising, I'm really starting to like Teslas. <laughs> That's, I want a Tesla. I, I just want a nice little Model 3, you know? <laughs> no, I like that answer. I like that answer. Yeah. Uh, or the Ford Lightning, but I can't fit in my garage with my wife. Uh, I don't think I can kick her out of the garage just to charge <laughs> my, my, my Ford Lightning. But nah, that wouldn't go down too well. Nah, but, uh, <laughs> uh, okay, one last question. This ain't Fast 9. Okay. <clears throat> Have you been keeping up with the uh, the Manosphere Red Pill YouTube stuff? Manosphere? Yeah, like uh, anti-feminism movement, like Kevin Samuels, Fresh and Fit Podcast. Uh-uh. Oh. Okay, well, I'm, I'm actually glad because I don't really talk about it. We was gonna talk about it off camera. I just want to know if you've been watching any of their uh, stuff. Okay, it's it's pretty in feminism. Yeah, man. I usually don't. Are we like gonna it. get demonetized I, I, if I say that? I usually I usually don't like. I I try to stay out of all those debates because I mean, no matter what side you're on. Yeah, that's why I just watch. Yeah, I can't. I can't. Yeah, no matter what side you're on, you're, you're gonna be wrong to somebody. Yeah, true, true, true. true. So yeah, but in, in my goal in life is to to not make anyone mad. Same. Honestly, I hate doing that. <laughs> it's hard to do, but yeah, I'm doing an okay job now, right? And your family doesn't count because obviously they know they know you 100. Yeah. percent So you can't really. <laughs> yeah. But um. But yeah, man. All right, man. I appreciate having you on the show. You know. Thank man? you for having me. It's been it's been fun. You oh know, yeah. Laughs as usual. Um. Uh, do you remember that photo we took outside of First Baptist Church with you on my back? I feel like I have it in my. I have a couple photos of. Really? You and me in my room. Um, when I was this, it just came to me. I just desk. thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but no, man, we have some good memories, and I'm you know I want to see you grow and, and do some good things. Oh, man. Yeah. Hopefully, I can be like you know I see James Black on All American. I'm like, man, get off my TV. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to him not too long ago. <laughs> <For> yeah. <laughs> so hopefully, I you know I see you one day. I'll just be watching hopefully. a TV show. Like, what the hell, James? <laughs> what are you That's doing? That's the goal. That's the <laughs> <Yeah>. goal. <laughs> so um. But yeah, without further ado, I think I did a good job with the intro, but we're going to do it again on the outro. Like, subscribe. You know, it's free. It's easy. We need 1K. Get us there. Comment below on, you know, his fast nine, slow nine uh, responses. Tell them they're whack. No, I'm <laughs> trying. <laughs> and also make sure you go down in the description and follow all his socials because he's funny. Uh, again, I appreciate y'all. Got to say it. And I appreciate you having me on the show. Thank you. And thank you to Subway for sponsoring the 99 Miles Per Hour podcast. Peace. Peace.